హలో గాయస్ వెల్కమ్ టు ది రచన శారీర లెక్చర్ సిరీస్ సో దీన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు స్టడీ అబౌట్ కేశ దంత అండ్ నఖ శారీర ఓకే నఖ శరీర ఓకే ఏదో టాపిక్ హియర్ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ ఆర్ పంచభౌతిక స్వరూప ఆఫ్ ది స్త్రీ దేర్ స్వభావ దే ప్రకృతి అండ్ వికృత స్వరూప ఓకే అండ్ ఇంపార్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎగ్జామినేషన్ ఆఫ్ కేశ దంత అండ్ నఖ సో లెట్ స్టార్ట్ ఓకే వెన్ కమ్ టు ద ఇంట్రొడక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ది స్త్రీ వేర్ దే కమ్ ఓకే వేర్ దే ఆర్ బీన్ డిస్కస్ ఇన్ ద Uh, in this context which are uh, which is said by the sharangadhar in the prathama khanda that kafah pittam malam kheshu prasvedho nakharomachah netravit tvak kshucha sneho dhatu nam kramasho malah means archara sharangadhar considered nakha and roma the nails and the hair follicles as the mala of asti dhatu this is to be remembered okay and kesh and danta are counted in the upadhatus which are in danta is upadhatu of asti and kesh is upadhatu of macha okay that's it now when we come to come to the panchabhautika uh, swarupa okay as we all know that is uh, sarva dravayam panchabhautika tattva means every dravya in this world in this universe is composed of five basic elements which are nothing but akasha vayu jala agni and prithvi okay in this context of danta kesh and nakha danta is composed of prithvi and vayu mahabhuta dominance kesha is a jala mahabhuta dominance and nakha is a prithvi and vayu mahabhuta dominance okay danta and nakha are one and the same but kesha is a jala mahabhuta dominance okay this is to be remembered now when we see the swabhava okay the sloka states that kesha smashu nakha loma danta asti sirasnayu dhamanya shukram cheti pitrujani pitrujani okay here achara charaka has considered kesha nakha loma and danta under the pitruja bhava these are all pitruja bhava the pattern of the forest the father's side okay these are swabhava of pitruja okay along with these shmashru uh, asti sirasnayu dhamani uh, are also a pitruja bhavas okay shukra all, all these are the pitruja bhavas now uh, let's discuss one by one okay danta we know danta is a tooth teeth etc okay when we see danta okay it is one of the asti okay among the panchastis it is one of the asti dashanastu ruchakanihi okay it is considered under the variety of asti which are five number okay we know that the ruchaka asti is nothing but a danta okay again sa dhirgayushu ashtan masa astata parato va pravartate itareshu tu chaturthat te hanti bala balyo te hanti balyo danto utpada vedayani pirita na samyak sampurna dhatu bhala bhavanti means the healthy baby the dirghayu dirghayusha baby in that ashtan masat means eighth month or after that parato va pravartate after that the danta gets erupted okay the teeth gets erupted itareshu tu chatathat in some it may be erupted at uh, fourth month also okay they may come in the fourth month ते हांति बाल्यु दंतोत्पाद वेदयानि पीडितः इफ दोस कम अर्लियर टू फोर्थ मंथ और एट्थ मंथ द चाइल्ड सफर्स फ्रॉम वेदना दैट इज पेन ओके एंड नॉट हैव अ गुड धातु भला ओके नॉट हैविंग द गुड हेल्थ ऑफ द टीथ ओके अगेन व्हेन वी सी द डिस्कशन अमंग टीथ इट इज बीन कंसीडर्ड दैट यावान मासस्य यो जातास्तता द्वर्षु सद्विज పతతి ప్రాయేషు అష్టాన తేషాం ప్రవ పూర్వేషు సంభవ మీన్స్ ఎ మిల్క్ టీత్ మిల్క్ టీత్ దట్ కమ్స్ అవుట్ ఇన్ విచ్ మంత్ యావాన్ మాస యో జాత స్వాత్ వర్ష సద్విజ ఫాల్స్ ఇన్ దట్ దట్ ఇయర్ ఓకే జబ్ జో కి మిల్క్ టీత్ జబ్ ఎరప్ట్ హోతా హై జిస్ మంత్ మే ఎరప్ట్ హోతా హై ఉస్ సాల్ మే వో గిరతే హై ఓకే ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇఫ్ ద టీత్ ఎరప్ట్ సెట్ ఫోర్త్ మంత్ ओके फोर्थ मंथ होता बेबी ओके फोर्थ मंथ को उसका दांत आ गए हैं मतलब दांत एरप्ट हुए हैं उसको तो वो कब गिरेंगे फोर्थ ईयर में गिरेंगे ओके इट इज जनरली दे कम्स बिफोर द एट मंथ ओके अष्टा नाम तेज पूर्व शो संभव दे जनरली कम्स आउट बिफोर द एट मंथ बट इफ दे कम आउट ऑन फिफ्थ मंथ दे विल बी फॉल एट फिफ्थ ईयर इफ दे कम्स ऑन फोर्थ मंथ दे फॉल एट फोर्थ ईयर ओके there are some of the uh, precious tooth collection okay good teeth the qualities of good teeth we can consider here big in pramana size which are thin snigdah shukla varnah white color ghana strong and samaprishtha arranged equally in a different manner okay so these are some of the precious tooth collection 
ना दंत विषय रिश्ते अब नॉर्मल टीथ किसको बोलते हैं अब नॉर्मल टीथ तस्य चिदंता परिकीर्ण श्वेत जात शर्कर शिव परासुरी विद्या मीन इफ दंत इज बीन मललिप्त मललिप्त मतलब गंदे हैं श्वेत एक्सेसिव वाइट है हम जितने भी नॉर्मल वाइट है ना तो उससे भी ज्यादा वाइट है दंत शर्कर डेंटल कैरिस डेंटल कैरिस हुआ है उसको मतलब दीज आर सम अरिस्टलेक्शन अब नॉर्मल क्वालिटी ऑफ द टीथ ओके ना वेन वी सी द क्लिनिकल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ टीथ द डिसीज ऑफ टीथ हैज बिन डिस्क्राइब हियर बाय आचार्य शिष्टता दंत एज अ दंत रोगास द दंत रोगास आर एट इन नंबर ओके आचार्य शिष्टता डिस्क्राइब एट दंत रोगास वेर एज वाग बट एंड शारंग कंसिडर्ड टेन दंत रोगास ओके विचार दालना विच निर्मित क्रैकलिंग ऑफ टीथ इन विच सीवियर पेन इन वॉल्स ओके क्रिमी दंता विच इज इन विच डिस्चार्ज सीवियर पेन एंड द दंत बिकम्स ब्लैक कलर सो क्रिमी दंता दंत हर्ष इट इज नथिंग बट हॉरिपुलेशन ओके शीत एंड उष्ण अस्पष्टता मतलब ही कैनॉट ड्रिंक और ही कैनॉट ड्रिंक और स्वेलो और होल्ड बोथ एक्सट्रीमली कोल्ड एंड एक्सट्रीमली हॉट लिक्विड और फूड ओके भंजन का दंत भंग तीव्र जो होता है इसमें तीव्र तीव्र जो मतलब एक्सट्रीम पेन ओके दंत गेट्स फ्रैक्चर ओके भंजन का दंत शर्कर डेंटल कैरिस दंत सौ सौंदर्य नाश मतलब दंत अच्छे नहीं देखेंगे मतलब इट इज ड्यू टू अ डेंटल कैरिस द मतलब इट गेट इन्फेक्टेड ओके सो दैट दैट इज नोन एज दंत शर्कर कपालिक दंत वलकल नाश द एनामल ऑफ द टीथ गेट डिग्रेडेड है तो दंत कपालिका ओके शाव दंत शाव नील वर्ण द टीथ बिकम्स साइनोज और इट बिकम्स ब्लैकिश और ब्लूइश कलर ओके हनु मोक्ष हनु संधि विनाश द सब द मैग्जिलरी मैंडिबल मैंडिबल जॉइंट ओके गेट्स मतलब गेट्स ऑब्स्ट्रक्ट और गेट फ्रैक्टर इट इज मतलब हनु मोक्ष Now, some of the modern correlation here of the clinical aspects of the teeth we can see are delayed eruption. Okay, in in the children uh, due to malnutrition or some other growth factor, uh, delayed eruption of teeth happens. Dental caries, dental caries. This is dental caries. In this, the microorganism produce small cavities or okay, cavity formation. They gradually enlarge and which is a decalc decalcification of enamel and dentin happens here. Okay. And other one is scurvy. This is a clear representation of scurvy, which is due to the deficiency of vitamin C. The gums are swollen and spongy bleed appears when you touch the gums. Okay. And gingivitis. Okay, gingivitis is nothing but a uh, bleedy, a reddish discoloration of on the edges of the gums is known as gingivitis. Okay. These are some of the clinical aspects of the dent. Ha. Now, nakha. Nakha is sthira vrutta ha snigdas tata. Brastunga kurma kara kara jaha means the nakha are sthira. Okay, these are hard, vrutta, round in shape, snigda, tam rabha, coppery like, unnata, the elevated one, and kurma kara. Okay, these are some of the qualities, characteristics of nakha. And if these qualities are present in the nakha, it is a good, good quality nakha. Okay. Which are the abnormal qualities? Nakha rishta lakshana, tasya, chen nakha, vita mamsa, shunita, pakwa jamba varana, siu parasuriti vidhyat. Means if a nail of a patient seems to be devoid of shunita, mamsa, shunita rakta, mamsa, then and uh, color is similar to that of pakwa jamba, pakwa jambu fruit. Okay, which is purple color or purple color, we can say bluish color. Okay, these uh, then the rogi cannot be long. These are the abnormal qualities. So, bhava of nakha. You can see here, pakwa jambu varna. Okay. Now, clinical aspects of nails. Uh, there are nakha gata roga. Okay, uh, in uh, clinically, the nakha gata roga are mainly chippa and kunaka or kulina. Okay, chippa is nothing but when pitta and vata dosha are located in nakha mamsa, then they cause pain burning sensation necrosis here you can see the clearly the necrosis happening on the nail bed and nails okay this is nothing but a chip uh -huh. and kunakar kulina is this is a type of disease where nail is being injured and which on injury it becomes ruksha black and dry due to in, uh, in proper circulation of blood okay that is kunakar kulina uh -huh. these are the nakagata roga 
okay and uh, some of the other clinical aspects are clubbing clubbing is nothing but a, a swollen part of the uh, extremities uh, the last part of the nails okay uh, these these are the uh, typical representation of clubbing okay this happens mainly due to respiratory disease okay then uh, onchylosing uh, onchylosis is nothing but a, a psoriasis or fungal infection as you can see in the picture that this is a uh, fungal infection happening to the nail okay uh, then coilonchia it is uh, due to iron deficiency okay yeah, this is a coilonchia representation here and transfer raging is systematic illness in systemic illness the transfer raging happens okay and white streaks white streaks if, uh, if a knee if you uh, found the nail the white streaks have been appeared it is clearly representation of the fungal infection okay in this may be considered as fungal infection but the clearly the white streaks happens on the uh, upper part of the nail that is the representation of fungal infection and paronchia paronchia is nothing but a uh, inflammation of a but the nail fold this nail fold may be inflammation it is a typical representation of paronychia okay that it is a inflammation due to bacterial infection you can uh, clearly um, diagnose it as a bacterial infection now kesha kesha is nothing but uh, the uh, quality of good kesha are ekaikaja mruduvo alpaha snigdaha subadda moolaha krishna kesha prashasyate means kesha are ekaikaja mruduvo alpaha means did the kesha are ek ek matlab ek ek hai matlab it is one strand two two strand matlab they are separated from each other and they are mrudu soft snigdaha anta uh, uh, and uh, subadda mula deeply situated krishna black color these are qualities of good kesha then what is the arista lakshana the abnormal qualities of kesha tasya chet kesha lomanya yamya manani pralucharena na chet vedayostam parasuriti vidhyat means if a kesha is separated from scalp okay kesha loma anya loma anya manani means uh, separated from scalp on pulling on pulling pralucharena then it is not good in condition okay agar haath mein agar kesha baal pakde hain aap to easily they are been separated from the uh, separated uh, or haath uh, mein aa rahe hain agar kheche to from the scalp then it is not the hair is not in a good condition okay and that kind of patient may may die soon not the normal hair fall okay here we are not discussing the normal hair fall okay it is some of the it is the condition in which bahut sare baal aayenge aapko haath mein theek hai when 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 you get uh, when you um, pull it off okay in the context of ashta nidita purusha then there is discussion of atiloma that is excess hairs and erloma without hair uh, which come under the meeta dhatu vikrutti okay it is uh, the context these are some of the context where uh, kesha is been represented in uh samhitas okay now when we see the clinical aspects of hair there are kesha gata rogas okay some of the kesha gata rogas we discuss is khalitya palitya darunaka and arunshika okay, these are the some of the main ones okay khalitya is the normal hair fall okay now, how the hair fall happens when vata with pitta when located in the roma kupa scalp causes falling of hair and later roma chidra are closed okay the pores the closed while combining with the rakt and pitta uh, and the khalitya can also be uh, said as indra lupta indra lupta is completely okay it is alopecia totalis completely lupt ho jana matlab uh, hair hair fall hoke fir se grow hi nahi hona that is indra lupta the normal falling of hair is khalitya palitya that is nothing but the graying of hair v shaped pitta due to krodha shoka shrama and due to bodily heat shatira ushma the hair get ripen here causing the graying of hair okay this is palitya then darunaka darunaka is normally a very common phenomenon dandruff okay kapha and vata makes the site of kesha hard having itchy and rough it is caused to kapha and vata okay this is darunaka then arunshika arunshika is a matlab um, it is the subsequent stage of darunaka is due to rakta involvement okay rakta and creamy involvement due to kapha rakta and creamy in the scalp there is a pedica okay this is uh, one of the okay uh, we can see the, we can consider arunshika as a psoriasis on the scalp or subarid dermatitis okay uh, in the scalp uh, there is a pedica having numerous opening and clay that it will be typical scaly appearance that is arunshika now some of the modern correlation when we see alopecia totalis it is alopecia totalis here the total loss of scalp hair it is alopecia totalis then ophiasis ophiasis is the loss of hair confluent along with the temporal and, and occipital scalp okay only 
द टेम्पोरल एंड ऑसिपिटल स्काल पीज बीन लॉस्ट दैट इज ऑफ यासिस देन हाइपर ट्राइक्रोस एक्सेसिव हेयर ग्रोथ ओके बहुत सारी ग्रोथ हो रही है इसमें एंड अलोपेशिया एरेटा इज द सडन लॉस ओके हमको इसका रीजन पता नहीं ठीक है एलोपेशिया एरेट का हमको रीजन पता नहीं सडन हेयर लॉस एट स्टार्ट विद वन और मोर सर्कुलर बार्क वो विद पर्टिकुलर शेप में रहेंगे सर्कुलर रहेंगे ओके ओवल शेप में रहेंगे ओके सर्कुलर बार पैच होंगे पूरे भी नहीं जाएंगे एक पर्टिकुलर एरिया में जाएंगे ओके सडन हेयर लॉस दिस इज अ टिपिकल पिक्चर ऑफ अलोपेशिया एरिएटा इट इज कॉमन इट इज ऑल्सो वेरी कॉमन फिनोमिना कॉमन सर्कमस्टेंसेस हैपनिंग नाउ डेज इन द यंग जनरेशन ओके हेयर लॉस ड्यू टू हाइपोथायरोडिज्म हाइपो पिटूटरिज्म हेरिटरी एंड डिसीज एनी काइंड ऑफ डिसीज एक्सेट्रा हेयर लॉस कैन बी हैपन ओके नाउ Why it is important? Okay, हमको अगर अब कोई पेशेंट आया हमारे पास तो हमको क्यों चेक करना है उसका केश दंत एंड नखा ओके इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ केश दंत एंड नखा ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हेयर केश ड्राइनेस ऑफ हेयर ब्रिटल नेचर स्प्लिटिंग ऑफ हेयर शेल बी अंडरस्टूड एज सिस्टमिक डिसऑर्डर यानी हमको ये पता चलना चाहिए कि अगर ये कंडीशन है पेशेंट के पास ड्राई हो रहा है हेयर ब्रिटल है मतलब ऐसे खींचते ही बाल हेयरफॉल हो रहा है उसका स्प्लिटिंग हो रहा है स्प्लिटेंट है उसको फिर ये सब हो रहा है तो एनी सिस्टमेटिक डिसऑर्डर उसके बॉडी के अंदर कोई तो डिसऑर्डर है सिस्टमेटिकली और इट मे बी ड्यू टू एजुअली डेफिशियंसी और हार्मोन रिलेटेड ओके एंड अगर प्रीमैच ग्रेइंग हो रहा है उसका तो दैट इज द मोस्ट रीजन दैट इज द फिनोम ऑफ एनी डेफिशियंसी रिलेटेड ओके दिस इज वॉट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू मतलब हमारे दिमाग में आना चाहिए कि मतलब जब एग्जामिनेशन करेंगे हम केशा का तो ये ये हो सकता है ठीक है इट इज रियली इंपॉर्टेंट टू स्टडी द एग्जामिनेशन नाउ डिफेक्ट्स इन टूथ ओके एनी डिफेक्ट्स इन टूथ डेंटल कैरिस इन्फेक्शन लाइक पेरीडोंटाइटिस कैन बी रिजल्ट फ्रॉम द डी मिनरलाइजेशन ऑफ टीथ अगर डी मिनरलाइजेशन अगर टीथ को मिनरलाइजेशन नहीं मिल रहा है तो इट मे कॉज डेंटल कैरिस एनी इन्फेक्शन ओके कैविटी फॉर्म हो सकते हैं ओके okay? Uh, and along with uh, vitamin D deficiency, mainly vitamin D से भी deficiency से tooth dental caries or any defect in tooth happens. Okay, then hyperparathyroidism, elevated serum calcium level along with decreased serum levels of inorganic phosphate results in the mineralization defect in teeth. Okay, these are the main reasons. Okay, vitamin D deficiency, hyperparathyroidism, elevated serum calcium level or decreased serum levels of I or inorganic phosphate uh, results in many defects of the teeth. Okay. नो नेल्स ओके हम नेल्स के एग्जामिनेशन क्यों करें क्यों इंपॉर्टेंट है वो वेन द पीलिंग ऑफ नेल इज अ कॉमन क्लिनिकल फाइंडिंग इन इंडिया ओके पीलिंग अगर ऊपर का लेयर नेल्स का जा रहा है तो इट इज द कॉमन फिनोमिना इन द इंडियन नाउ डेज ओके इट इज डी मेनली ड्यू टू आयरन डेफिशियंसी हमको पता चलना चाहिए कि आयरन डिफिशियंसी हो रहा है ये सब ठीक है देन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ रिजस ऑन नेल्स एसोसिएट एजिंग एजिंग के साथ भी हो सकता है वो रिजस फॉर्मेशन ओके इट इज आल्सो फाउंड दैट पैथोलॉजिकल एंटिटी इन कंडीशंस लाइक सोरियासिस ओके टिपिकल सोरियासिस ऑफ नेल्स रिडजस हो सकते हैं उसके ऊपर ठीक है वाइट स्पैश हो सकते हैं रिडजस हो सकते हैं दिस इज द सोरेसिस से भी हो सकते हैं ठीक है नेल बर्ड सोरेसिस हो सकते हैं ठीक है नाउ वेन द येलो नेल्स इज कॉमनली ड्यू टू इन्फेक्शन कॉज बाई इन्फेक्शन ऑफ नेल बेड और ड्यू टू एनी एलर्जिक कंडीशन येलो नेल्स कैन हैपन एंड ब्लैक नेल्स आर यूजली ड्यू टू इंजुरी एंड जिंक डेफिशियंसी कॉजेस डिसीज ऑफ नेल्स कॉजिंग डिस्ट्रॉफी मेनली जिंक डेफिशियंसी कॉज डिस्ट्रॉफी ओके ब्लूश और ब्लू ब्लैक पेमेंटेशन ऑफ नेल्स एसोसिएटेड विटामिन बी ट्वेल्व डिफिशियंसी ओके सो द इंपॉर्टेंट एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ केश दंत एंड नखा इज इंपॉर्टेंट ओके यू हैव बी कंप्लीट द केश दंत एंड नखा विद देर क्लिनिकल एस्पेक्ट्स सो थैंक यू एंड हियर वी कंप्लीट द रचना शर्र पेपर वन पार्ट ए ऑल द टॉपिक्स ओके द प्ले लिस्ट इज इन द Uh, in, in our channel, all the topics places available with the NCSM syllabus. Please read it. Okay, thank you.